Hi, everyone. Super, super, super excited to have you here with us today. And we are going to be talking about, let me make sure we're actually live. Here we go. Yep, we are live. Hi, everybody. My name is Marisa Stone. I am the owner of the Systems Lounge and host of the Brand Spanking New Women's Biz Systems podcast. And I want to welcome you today to the 2019 Premier International Women's Business Systems Virtual Summit Speaker Spotlight Series, where you get to meet and greet all of our coveted speakers. And this week we are in track five, which is our step up track. And inside this speaker series, we are going to talk all about putting yourself back on your calendar. And just as we talk about putting yourself back on your calendar, I am also putting each and every one of our speakers into the hot seat. And I'm going to ask them a ton of questions that perhaps no one else knows about them. So you do not want to miss this opportunity to get to know them. Also, you don't want to miss the actual event happening September 23rd through the 27th, 2019, where you are going to get to hear from 60 of these amazing female entrepreneurs who are sharing with you the systems they use every single day to systematize and scale their businesses. And right now I want to introduce to you Denise Povernick. She is the one who talks with us all about the millionaire mindset. So Denise, welcome. I'm super excited to be talking with you today all about, you know, who you are and everything that we want to know about you. And I know that um, you actually filled out a little mini questionnaire to give me a little bit of insight into some of the things that you wanted to talk about today. And it was really this idea of embracing our madness. Can you talk with us a little bit about what you mean by embracing our madness? Yeah, it's really about uh, creating the story of you, but your story, your way, your life, your way. Get rid of all the rules. Get rid of all the stuff you've been taught. Yes. Just have fun. You know, this is meant to be joyous. This is meant to be, life is meant to be happy. And if you're not having fun, you're doing life wrong, right? Right. I call it the madness because normal is serious and normal is responsibility and normal is... <laughs> And remember ever a day being normal and I'm having a blast. So I want people to embrace that madness and, and not worry about what other people are going to say, because if you're enjoying life, you're, you're, you're really, you know, getting, getting in there and getting it right. Yeah. And I love that you call it embrace your madness, because I think each and every one of us has a zone of genius that, that is who we are. It's the thing we're passionate about. It's the thing that wakes us up in the morning and it may be very, very different from the way somebody else does it. And with this idea of embracing our madness, it almost gives me permission to shine in that zone of genius and understand that that's what I bring to the table. That's what sets me apart. There's a lot of people that do systems in our world, but what sets me apart is my own version of the madness that I bring to my business. Yeah. And for me, for me, the madness is how many brain cracks can I, can I make somebody have per day? Right. Mm -hmm. You know how the dogs that go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and you do this to me all the time. Every time we talk, you do this to me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she always makes me think. <laughs> because I'll say something backwards or upside down and, mm -hmm. or you won't expect that to be said. And it gets you out of your normal way of being your normal, that comfort zone, that, mm -hmm. that, that autopilot that we're on. And we're on this autopilot, not realizing we're thinking and doing things in a way that maybe served you five years ago, 10 years ago, but don't now. Yeah. Yeah. And I love, love, love that you say it that way, because evolution is part of the normal process of being an entrepreneur. You know, if you looked at what I was doing in business just three short years ago, it's a complete about face to where I am today in business. And that's part of who we are. We are always evolving from the moment we're born to the moment we leave this earth. We're always evolving and allowing ourselves to come into our own with regard to evolving as an entrepreneur is crucial. I mean, you know, the way I look at it is this, whether you're doing business or you're doing a sport or something else that you're passionate about, the basics are always the basics. You're, you're not even going to think about those. Yeah. So it's putting your energy, your splash, you know, that thing that makes you, you I call it your Eunice, right? Yeah. And 
I have this beautiful big unicorn uh, stuffed animal I, my daughter gave me for Christmas. And I named her Eunice to remind <laughs> me to be me, to be my you. Yeah. And, you know, my you is meant to make everybody go, Ugh. and so is yours. Yeah. Because God, it's, the, it's the same old, same old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. And I love how owning that really sets us apart. You know, we talk a lot about building the no like and trust factor. There's a lot of jargon, right? Building the no like and trust factor and being authentic and being transparent and all those things we're supposed to do. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, right? All those things we're supposed to do. But what I'm hearing you say is take a step back for a moment and make sure you're aligned with who you really are. Right. And and, and that's the thing. And, and I, I feel like you know, if we kind of substitute the dollars and use something else that we're going to collect every day, like how many smiles or how many laughs or how many shaking my heads do I get from people when they're texting? Oh God, here she goes again. You know, <laughs> that's it. because, you know, I might be the only person that helps you smile or laugh, even mm -hmm. if it's ridiculous. And I have no problem going there if that's what I need to do. Yeah. So, yeah. So finding what your currency is and then just spreading that everywhere. For sure, like glitter. <laughs> exactly like glitter. So the other thing that you wanted to talk a little bit about was to stop taking ourselves so seriously. And I think this is crucial for a lot of us, especially those of us that struggle with this perfectionist, you know, kind of side of us that wants everything to be perfect before I release it out into the world. Now that's me putting upon myself a lot of extra strain and stress and things I don't need to have on me when if I can just get it out to my clientele, they're going to appreciate what I've offered them. So talk with us for a moment about how to take that level of seriousness, seriousness down. Well, you know, here's the thing. I, I call it that people suffer from not enough itis, right? Everybody's not enough. There's not <laughs> yes. enough contagious out there and it comes in so many forms not smart enough not right. just enough right so right. I challenge people to show me what the enough is right yeah show, and I'm still waiting for it to show up so how can we judge ourselves against something that you don't even know what it is but you know you're not enough yeah that, for my logical friends which I am not logical that makes my brain crack right <laughs> that so you're not enough but you can't tell me what the enough is but somehow you know that you're not yeah yeah <laughs> my way of sending that back to you guys yeah. uh so but ser seriously like in as a personal trainer one of the things that i do if i ask you to do an exercise i'm not going to ask you to do it until i know you could do it at least 40 percent yeah and it's just imperfect action starting somewhere let's see where you're at and until you can say what the perfect is then you can't judge yourself that you're you're not it right yes. so yourself a break already yeah because at the time if someone is telling you that you're not perfect it's because they're feeling insecure but yeah but you you're you're wonderful you're awesome and that's what you got to remember yeah and then you're really only in competition with you so if you want to move from one step to the next and get better at the task at hand then you simply set those goals and go after them it's not about competing with everyone else out here in the space. It's about here's where I am today and here's where I want to be tomorrow and here's where I want to be next week and here's where I want to be, you know, next year. Yeah. And it's almost like, you know, I have like, you know, Angel Denise on this side and Devil Denise on this side and they're, just, I'm just watching as they battle it out. And this one's going, you're not the boss of me. And yes, I, and you know, and it's, so if you're walking around somewhere and I'm going, that's what's usually going on because then once it's done, it doesn't have to come out this way. Yeah. You know? And it's really about like, when you think about you started your business and all of these wonderful entrepreneurs and the people watching started this business because you have this magic. And sometimes this magic is just our normal way of being that we forget that it is, but people need that. And if you're taking yourself so seriously, you're, you're lessening the power of your magic. Oh, that's a good point. I hadn't yeah. even thought about that because I'm stifling myself. Exactly, right? Yeah. So one of the, my biggest phrases that I say all the time, don't be afraid to face plant, right? Yeah. And I usually say that when I'm teaching women how to do push-ups because you're this close off the floor. <laughs> and inevitably so, you're going to. <laughs> I'm cushioning somewhere else that's going to stop the face from hitting. Right. So 
you know, if you just just really go and enjoy what you're doing and 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 make yourself laugh, I am my own personal comedy act. <laughs> and, but just, you know, with the people that you're engaging in, you are probably the most amazing thing that they're going to engage with every day. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and I know we talked about it before. It's not about what you know. It's mm-hmm. about how you make people feel when they're in your presence. Yes, for sure. And you can, and you can do more with that feeling and, and get them, you know, inspired to do your systems and your processes, right? Because they're all amazing. But we just get that people connection and especially in this day and age with all the, uh, you know, electronics that we have. So yeah, it's all about the magic. For sure. And I love, love, love that. And in lieu of the magic, I want to put you in the hot seat. I want to ask you a series of questions that just give us an opportunity to get to know you better. So as I'm asking you these questions, I just want you to think about the, the, the first thing that comes to mind when you answer. Are you ready? Well, let me just say one thing real quick. My, 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 having the tables turned on me, me and (laughs) because it's usually everybody else, but go ahead. (laughs) Okay, here we go. What's your favorite food? Favorite food is homemade pierogies with meat. Ooh, nice. What's your favorite beverage? Oh, my favorite beverage. Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, (laughs) Hot chocolate. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I love hot chocolate. Okay, your favorite season? Garlic. Lots of garlic. Okay. What about- Don't want to be around me afterwards, but garlic, yes. I love, I love, love, love that you took it that way. What about your favorite season with garlic? (laughs) That's what happens. He's on food. (laughs) I'm a summer baby, but I absolutely adore fall with the colors and the, the contrast of the cold and the warm, yeah, fall. Yeah, Definitely. for sure, for sure. Yeah, I'm such a sun bum, summer is my favorite. Okay, what about your favorite piece of technology? You know, the systems queen has to ask this one. <laughs> none of it, none, none, none. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Sorry, God. <laughs> okay, so are you a morning or a night person? Uh, I'm a, a night person who never thought she would be a morning person. So I'm a 24 hour person. I, I, yeah. Yep. Cause I used to say like morning or nighttime, Denise would make decisions and she would never tell morning Denise. And then she'd wake up the next morning and there'd just be the, again, that whole fighting thing. (laughs) All all of my multiple personalities are all in agreement. We're good. (laughs) I love it. I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one that has battles in my head. I'm just saying (laughs) gold or silver. Gold. Coffee or tea? Neither. Neither. Okay. Yep. Even yep. herbal teas? You don't drink herbal teas? Yeah, that's why I had to go for hot chocolate. Like that's okay. About it. All right. So in the chocolate or caramel question, are we going with chocolate? We're going with both. Okay. Some- <laughs> How about iOS or Android? I've never had an Android, so I'm just an iOS girl. Okay. What is one of your weird quirks that nobody knows about you? Okay, so in the event this would ever happen, if you come and load my dishwasher, then I'd have to go reload it because only I have proper order of everything to be only thing. If you looked at the rest of my house, it looks like a bomb exploded. However, <laughs> the dishwasher is where it's at. <laughs> I don't know. And I, and I have to tell myself, don't do it. Don't. And that one little piece, that data whack, that'll do it for me. Yeah. Yeah. You got to go reload it. I, I totally get you. I am that OCD. Okay. What's a bucket list item that you have not yet completed? Uh, I want to uh, visit Australia. Oh, me too. Road trip. <laughs> I am still in Australia. So now I have a really good reason. Oh my gosh. I'm so jealous. I totally want to go to Australia. It is my, it, it, yeah. I, it, since I read the book, uh, The Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day when I was a kid, I wanted to go to Australia. Okay. And the last question I want to ask you is what motivates you to deliver to your clients the way that you do? You know, um, there's this wonderful speech that Jim Carrey gave at a graduation that's been around the internet. And he talked about, uh, he he named what he does, uh, the Church of Freedom from Concern right? So that's kind of what I really want to bring to people is that no matter how bad it is, you might not think there's anything left, you know, nowhere to turn. 
I want people to know that if, if anything, there's one person on this planet that really cares for you as an individual, that really wants your success and well being, and that you're loved. Yeah. I love, love, love that too, because I think it is so crucial that we make that human touch and not just deliver whatever it is that's our zone of genius and our product and our service, but we really give that human touch. So I love that. Yep. I, I really like to put the personal into all of the things that I do. Yeah, for sure. Wow. Guys, you definitely do not want to miss Denise. She is going to be talking all about the millionaire mindset inside the summit. And you want to make sure she, you're going to show up in track five when she goes live. And you definitely do not want to miss that one. Denise, thank you so much for being here and hanging out with us and giving us the opportunity to put you in the hot seat. Yes. And I, I'm, I'm loving every minute of this and it's just been so much fun. Thank you for having me. Thank You're you so very much. welcome. All right, Denise, we will see you guys soon. And guys, look for us inside the next Speaker Spotlight series. We'll see everyone soon. Bye, everybody.